Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for like a year, but I am back with another video. Today we will be making lobster mac and cheese. Now, however, this is a little price. If you're looking for a cheaper recipe, go on my YouTube channel and click on my other lobster mac and cheese recipe. And that recipe I only spent probably about 20 to 30 dollars. However, in this one, girl, I spent like almost 80, 80 or 100 dollars on it. But this is like more of a gourmet type mac and cheese, like one you get when you go to a restaurant. I'm also going to be linking the ingredients and the recipe in the description box below. All right, I'm talking too much. All right, guys, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is boil our pasta. I'm sure everybody already knows how to boil pasta. Only thing I'm going to say is a little tip would be to put lobster tail shells inside your pasta when you boil it. That way the pasta can be more infused with lobster. All right, now that I've boiled my pasta, I'm gonna place it in that pan. And now I'm just adding in some butter so my pasta doesn't stick together. All right, so next thing I'm about to do is make my cheese sauce. I'm gonna do that in a pan on top of the stove. Now, prehand before I record it, I did cut up some garlic and I placed it in with heavy cream and I let it boil now not boil I let it saute girl what am I talking about now I'm just adding adding in my heavy cream all right so after my heavy cream thickens a little bit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in one block of Gaillard cheese and one block of white cheddar cheese Then I'm going to add in a bag of shredded Romano cheese and a bag of white cheddar cheese. Then I'm just going to mix that all up, let it thicken a little bit more, and then I'll be back. All right, so now that my sauce has thickened up, I'm going to transfer my sauce into the pasta and then I'm going to mix it up. All right, so now I'm going to add three tablespoons of sour cream just so my mac and cheese could be a little more creamy, you know. Now I'm going to add in another block of white cheddar cheese. I didn't want to add this in while I was making the sauce because I wanted one block of cheddar cheese to be in block form and not melted just so my mac and cheese could stick together a little bit so it's not too runny. Now I'm just going to mix it together and now I'm going to add my seasonings. The seasoning that I am using is Creole seasoning. I'm probably going to show it in the video, but it's Creole seasoning. I probably I put about probably a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. Then after, I'm going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. And I also add about two to three tablespoons of sugar just because the cheese is very sharp. So the sugar kind of kills the sharp taste. So now I am chopping up my lobster tails. In this video, I only use one lobster tail, but... When you make this, use four lobster tails. I could not find any lobster tail at the stores. I don't know if it's because Valentine's Day was the day before or what, but yeah. So as you see in the video, I'm only using one lobster tail, but I'm going to be using hella crab meat. So that's that. I used one big jar of crab meat. They also should sell lobster meat like that. It's real lobster meat. It's not imitation. All right. So now... I'm going to add in my two eggs, and that's just to make sure the mac and cheese stays together in one form and it's not runny. We're gonna make our crust or topping, whatever you wanna call it. So for my topping, what I did was I took garlic butter croutons and I smashed them up. Now to make it easier for you, I would suggest if you got a food processor or a, a blender, put it in there and blend it up and then after I just added 
a half a pack of shredded Romano cheese, and then I mix that up together. And then I'm just gonna pour it on top, on top of the mac and cheese. All right, so after you do that, after you've done putting the topping on top of it, I would suggest melt some butter and just drizzle it on top just to make sure the saw, the topping stays crunchy. I did it, but it didn't get recorded in the video. All right, so now I'm going to pop that in the oven for about 45 minutes or whenever you feel like it's done, like the, brown, the top is nice and brown how you like it because I know some people don't like theirs like that. All right, so here I just took a lobster and I split it in half and I'm taking a lobster out of it and that's going to be for the top of our mac and cheese just to make, you know, make it look pretty. So here I'm cutting up about four scallions and I'm also cutting up about five garlic cloves and I'm going to sa saute it on top of the stove. So right here, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of rosemary. And a teaspoon of Italian blend seasoning. and a teaspoon of black pepper. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna pour it on top of the lobster and then after I'm just gonna take a lemon and just squeeze it over it. And then I'm gonna put my lobster in the oven for about probably I don't know five minutes with lobsters you can really just look at them and tell when they're done you don't want to over okay as you see everything has came out the oven this is the finished product now let's dig in and let's show y'all how that look when the cheese just start running off of it look at that hey don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you have any suggestions for other things that you would like me to make, you can put it down in the comments. Be nice. Don't be rude. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.